Hi, my name is Jo Rowney and I'm a HR manager here in Atos UK and Ireland. I'm also the creator and manager of the Career Support Programme here in Atos, which supports our permanent employees in their goal to become interview ready so they can move around the organisation and develop and add value as they go. The programme helps employees to really sell themselves and develop their own careers within our organisation. Due to the success of career support here in the UK, I am regularly approached to share best practice with my colleagues globally, as well as having presented in Durham University uh, and also provide CV critiquing for London University too. I am a qualified assessor and I'm able to help employees at all levels. I'm about to share with you a very short coaching session called First 90 Days in Your New Role. Congratulations, you have a new job. Absolutely, take time to celebrate, whether it's your first job or whether it's a new one or even a promotion. Well done. Start to have a think about the impressions that you might first want to make. Those impressions stick. If you're starting out, don't be too over familiar with people. Don't come across as overconfident. Don't let them believe that you know it all because you won't always be professional. If you're moving from a previous job that you didn't care much for, learn from those experiences, draw a line and move on. Do not badmouth your previous employer or line managers. Ensure you have a clear direction as to what's expected of you. If you don't, put steps in place to ensure that you get that clarification. Introduce yourself to people that you come across if you are not formally introduced to your new work colleagues. Ensure that you have clear objectives in terms of what's expected of you at the outset. Try to exceed them if you can and try to go that extra mile to impress in those early days. Really assess the tasks or objectives that you have been given. Work out what can be achieved quickly you can call those your quick wins. Ensure that you have a proper job description and really think about how you're going to organise yourself to ensure that you cover everything off properly. Who will you need to engage with to get some input or direction? Make those contacts. Maybe create a project plan to ensure that you stay on track in learning everything that you have to and be clear about your priorities and timescales. Try to understand how what you're doing links to key strategic targets within your team or even your company. As you start to achieve your objectives and deliver some value, ensure that you keep track of what you're doing and really think about the impact that you're having. Capture that. It will be important, especially if you are in an organization that is performance driven. Analyze the progress that you're making. Use your project plan to track that progress. Regularly review it at least twice a week. Once at the beginning of the week to ensure you have clear direction for the week ahead and once at the end of the week to, to capture your achievements and any new actions that have been identified. Think about how you're approaching things. Is it working? How can you improve your methods? Don't be afraid to ask for help or advice if you are struggling. Ensure you have regular meetings with your manager to confirm that you're on track. Check any changes in priorities and gain valuable feedback on how you're doing. It might be that there's some additional training that you could undertake that they will be willing to sponsor for you. If you find that you really are on top of everything quite quickly, don't just sit back and relax. Ask your manager for additional responsibilities. And as you settle into your new role, don't become complacent. Really think about what you want from your career and always seek out new ways to improve your knowledge and experience. Give yourself an opportunity to shine. Continue to get to know people and provide help wherever possible. Never get angry in the workplace. Always be professional. Leave your colleagues with a good, lasting impression of you. In years to come, you never know when you will need their help with something, and those good impressions will stand you in good stead. 
In my experience, this is so true. Even if people are not in the same organization anymore, it's amazing how your paths may cross again. As you're starting out, you may not necessarily know what you want to do long term or what direction you might ultimately take. And that's perfectly normal. Just enjoy the journey. As you go through your working career, you will come across different elements of work that you're not keen on or that absolutely fill you with motivation and joy. Those are the paths that you should pursue. Be aware of them. Listen to your inner voice and try new things. Only in that way can you really discover that golden nugget that will make you love going to work and it will feel like an exciting and motivational hobby and you're getting paid. If you're not happy with something or you're in a role that you hate, learn from that what you can and make a change.